Hi. The Electron machines are amazing synths and drum machines with numerous sound design options. But if all you're doing is playing notes using the onboard keys, you're missing out on a lot of what these instruments can do because these onboard buttons are simple on-off switches. It doesn't matter if you hit them soft or hard, except for the clicking sound, you'll always get the same sound. And that can get a bit boring, especially with evolving sounds like these, which have a lot going on. But there's a way to take these sounds and bring some life to them using an external keyboard like this, which gives you at least four additional dimensions of expression beyond on-off. Velocity, which is how hard you hit a key. Aftertouch, which is additional pressure expression after you press a key. This mod wheel that can also introduce additional expression and pitch bend. But if you noticed, when I hit the key harder or softer, it didn't affect the sound or the mod wheel. This is the initial modulation. Didn't do much either. That's because in a lot of the factory presets and in presets you create, if you don't create these mappings, these modulations aren't mapped to any parameters on the presets. So in this video, we'll cover how to fix that. So I'll start with the Analog 4 and then move on to Digitone. Both are very similar in terms of modulation features. And I'll take um, this factory preset, Regal Slow Saws. We'll use that for the purpose of this demo. I'll lower the Digitone for a second. So if you listen closely, what do you hear? There are two modulations here. There's vibrato and a frequency cutoff. So first thing I want to do is actually disable the, um, the automatic modulation because I want to control it, right? So now it's gone, but don't worry, it'll be back. Now the sound menu will show you your uh, available modulations. And the first thing that you might notice is that velocity isn't mapped to volume. So that's easy to fix. There are a few options here. And now it's still uh, a bit low because the filter cutoff point is low, but we've mapped essentially velocity to how hard I press the keys. Next step, let's uh, use the modulation wheel to address the filter cutoff frequency. You can see it's already affecting vibrato. Uh, that's okay. Let's uh, take filter frequency and introduce modulation there. Okay, so now we have control with the mod wheel on the filter frequency. And uh, you can choose any other parameter, by the way. You don't have to use the defaults. Um, just hit the knob and look at all these parameters that you can have any of the modulation sources affect. So, okay, we mapped uh, this now to filter frequency and it's uh, affecting vibrato as well. Let's maybe use uh, aftertouch to affect resonance. So I'll go back into the menu, look for aftertouch, and you can see as I press the key how it's affected here. And it's already affecting vibrato. I don't want that, so I'll just disable that here. And there's no mapping for resonance, so I will pick resonance. One of the nice features here is that as you go through the different menu items, you can hear its impact if you increase the modulation depth. Let's go for resonance. Okay. I'll say yes. So now after touch is my resonance. And this is my cutoff point. And you can see in this menu that you can map each of the modulation sources to up to five different destinations. And it's applicable for after touch, a breath controller if you have one, the mod wheel we talked about pitch bend, and you can also have velocity affect other parameters beside just the strength of the note. Let's look at pitch bend for a second. So pitch bend is by default um, affects the pitch, and I can have that affect other parameters as well. Um, let's say, uh, let's have it affect, um, hmm.
I want to go for... Overdrive. That's nice. Okay. So now... Oops, I didn't apply it. So let's go for Overdrive. Hit yes. So now I have the pitch bend wheel. Affecting Overdrive, not just bending the note. So you can see how we've gone from a relatively static preset to one that's affected by how hard I press a key. What I do with a key after I press it. I can use the mod wheel, of course. And pitch bend as well. All for different types of ongoing dynamic expression. Before I move on to the Digitone, uh, the Analog 4 does have two additional expression inputs which you can map to any one of the track parameters. Okay, let's move on to Digitone. You can hear that the velocity is already properly mapped here, which is great. And similarly to the Analog 4, we have all these parameters to play with. Now what's causing the dynamic and very nice sound um, of this preset is the modulations here, the envelopes here, which I will now take away. But don't worry, we'll bring them back. Same drill. Let's go into here. Let's start with uh, mod wheel. Okay, what we want is to set a depth so we'll hear it. And here too, as you scroll through the, these menus, you can hear the impact that the modulation is going to have on the various parameters. We do need to first, uh, here, levels. Okay, this is the, the first step. Once we address this parameter, the others will be heard as well. Okay, so now we have our depth control here. We can go to an extreme if we want, or just keep it subtle. And we can keep going on with up to four parameter mappings here. What I wanted to show you um, is that we can also use pitch bend as a second mod wheel. So by default, pitch bend always changes the pitch of a note, but you can go into the menus and disable that. Oops, we're, here we go. And now the pitch bend control won't have any effect on actual pitch bend, and we can use it as a separate bipolar mod wheel. So let's go in here, go into pitch bend, affect the modulation. You can see that it's uh, impacting here. And let's just pick an interesting destination. Ouch. Okay. even better. Let's do that. Oops. Let's do that. Okay, cool. So now, I've got this modulation here, and this modulation here, all dynamically controlled on an ongoing basis, rather than just having a preset start on a certain course a certain predetermined destination and continue going there. So I hope you see how this opens up a whole new world of modulation options. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section below. Hit like if this was helpful and subscribe if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. Thanks for watching.